is the day of Pentecost, when the church celebrates and remembers how when Jesus' first disciples were gathered again in Jerusalem, still reeling from the shock, the pain of his crucifixion and the shock of meeting Jesus alive, of talking with him, eating with him. They were there not only to celebrate the feast of Pentecost, but to obey Jesus' command to stay in Jerusalem until the power from on high would come upon them. They didn't really know what that meant, but they were certainly uh, not expecting what happened. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and started praising God, not only in their own language, but in the languages of the known world. And the experience was so powerful that those who were around them thought they were absolutely drunk. We might think, looking at what happened afterwards, that what Jesus had in mind was that he wanted to create some kind of religious club. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Jesus was raised on the Hebrew scriptures. And the tenant of that is how do we live our lives in such a way that honours God and creates a community of justice and peace. The prophets were always calling people to honour God properly by loving and serving their neighbour. This from the prophet Amos. Take away from me the noise of your songs. To the melody of your harps I will not listen, but let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a never flowing stream. So when the first disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and went out to make disciples of all nations, they were not trying to make a religious club. They were trying to let people hear how much God loves them that they didn't have to spend their lives trying to please or placate God, because God loved them. And by Jesus' death and resurrection, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, God wishes his Spirit to indwell each one of us, that we may be part of making the creation a place that is beautiful, peaceful, loving, kind, compassionate, just, a place for humanity, and for all creation to thrive and be safe. Jesus sent his disciples out into the real world to be salt and light. Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, Jesus said, but those who do the will of my Father. This Pentecost, let us celebrate that we too can be filled afresh with the Holy Spirit that we might go out as Jesus followers to work with all that want to make God's world a place of justice, compassion, peace and health. God bless you this day of Pentecost. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.